So I just want to go over the e-collar with you here now. So what we're going to be using here is the Mini Educator um, Double Dog Series. So this is going to be the 302 model. You'll see, um, this is what it's going to arrive in. Um, you'll see you have in here, you have your owner's manual, some important information. Don't lose this please. And then in addition to this, you have your little remote here, see so a big yellow guy. Then you have your two receivers. Um, and so these actually have two different colors so that you can pick which color um, and that'll kind of go into something later, but each of these has their own button on the remote. Um, also you have up here in the corner, you have um, your charger. So this comes with a split cable here and then a, a little extender because you're actually going to have three parts to charge all at once. So you just take the little extender, attach it here to that one prong point and then you'll see you have three ready to go that you can plug into the wall. And charge time on this guy is about two hours for a full charge. So next little thing here, um, there is a lanyard or a little leash for your remote so you can actually take that and put it on this little guy just like that. So you can hang it around your neck and look cool. Um, then in this little pouch here, up on the far left, we have a few items. So we have, um, this is a little tool that you'll use to um, change the contact points on the actual receiver. We also have this little clear um, testing light. So this is something that you can use to test to make sure that your receiver is actually working. And then we have um, extra contact points in here. So these are the longer contact points that come with the um, original set. So to start, you wanna turn on your remote. So the remote is the big yellow guy here. So to turn it on, you just go to the back. You'll see there's a big button back here that says on, off, and light next to it. If I take my finger and I press and hold that button for a few seconds, you'll see this will turn on. When this is on, the LED will light up and this little light here will blink. This blinking light um, is an indicator light. So what that means is that it's gonna tell you the charge level. So green means it's fully charged, amber means it's starting to die, red means it's definitely dying. Now in a second, the LED and this little light will dull, it's like magic. And so what that um, is doing is just trying to conserve battery for you. Um, but if you adjust it at all, it'll come right back on. So what we also have on here want to kind of go over here with you is you'll see on the front here there's a flashing little 1D at the top um, and that's actually important in this model because that stands for one dog or first dog and so one dog is um, actually related to a certain button on here and I'll show you that in just one second um, then you also have a number in the middle and so that right now is set to zero but if I turn this dial clockwise you'll see it'll start increasing so this level here goes from zero all the way to 100. So if I turn it up to 100, it'll actually say hi instead of 100, like hello. Um, next to this level here, you'll see there is a C. What that means is continuous. So continuous means if I press and hold a button on here to correct, one second, let me get it to a level. It won't correct at zero, but if I'm here at five, you'll see that the um, red light goes, which means it's actually correcting um, at level five, and continuous means it goes for as long as I'm holding down the button, but maxes at 10 seconds. So you always wanna make sure when you guys are working um, with your dogs that you see that C on there. So if you don't see C, it's because you hit this little MC button in the back. So if I hit that now, you'll see on the front, it should just say M. So what that means is if I press one of the um, stim buttons right now, you will see it just blinks red for one quick second. So that means momentary. So even if you press and hold a button, it'll only correct the dog for a split second. So you always wanna make sure that you have C on the front when you're working with your dog. That brings me to um, the two correction buttons. So these are actually um, pertaining to the specific collar and to the specific dog. So black button will go to the black collar. 
and that's dog number one. So if you see when I correct here, that one dog stands at the top, and then you'll see red button goes to the red collar. So if I correct now, you should see two dog or 2D down at the bottom when I'm correcting. Okay, so black button is black collar, red button is red collar. So however, whoever you've assigned, that's who you'll be correcting. Across the way, you'll see there's a little T here. So what that stands for is um, tone, but it actually um, is vibrate in these collars. So if I tap that right now, you'll see there's a little um, T kind of symbol on the front. So if I hit one of these buttons, if I hit 1D, it'll actually vibrate the collar then. And if I hit um, the red button, it'll go 2D and it'll vibrate that as well. To get out of that mode, you can just leave it alone for a second or you can tap that tone button again. Another function on here um, that you have is you have an option to lock a certain dog's um, level. So we typically don't recommend doing this, but in case it happens on accident, I do want to show you how to deal with it. So if you take and press and hold the dial in, if I hold that for a few seconds, it'll lock that level. So if I try to turn this dial now, you'll see it's stuck at five. So to unlock it, you just do the same thing. I press and hold that dial and then it unlocks like that. So down below that on off and light button on the back here, you will see a little charge port. So if you just pull that open, you can actually plug your charger in there. Um, and that's pretty good to go there. So now that we've got our remote all set and ready, we want to turn on the actual receivers. So we'll start with the red one here. So what you want to do is if you look here just down below that tone button, you'll see there's a little red dot there. And on your receiver, there is a matching red dot. So what you want to do is you want to take those and line them up and it'll turn on your receiver. So when the receiver's on, you do have another blinking indicator light. This one will blink constantly when it's on. So again, same color scheme, green fully charged, amber is starting to die, red is definitely dying. The only other time you will see both of these go red is when you are correcting. So if I correct the red collar with the red button right now, you'll see that both of these go red. So it doesn't necessarily mean it's dying. Um, once you're done correcting, if you give it a second, it'll go right back to that blinking indicator light. So that'll turn on the red one. Same thing to turn on your second receiver. Red dot, another matching red dot there. Touch them together again, and this guy will turn on as well. In the middle here, you will see we have the two contact points. So this is how the stem actually connects through the dog's fur um, down to their neck and will supply the stem there. Um, in between those, you'll see you have a little ID number. Um, that's important if you need to get any work done on either of the, on either of the collars. Um, then in between and back behind that is going to be a charge port. So you can pull that open um, and plug that in to get that charged. Um, just want to make sure that you do close it afterwards because um, these are technically waterproof just as long as you have that fully closed. Okay. On the back here, of your remote, we have that on off light button. So again, if you just tap that, if I tap that right now, you'll see that a blinking light comes on. So this is to be used if you know your dog's out at night, it's dark, um, you can use it so that oncoming cars or other people can see them, or you can see them as well. Um, if I tap that same button again, just a quick second, the light will actually go solid. And if I tap it again, it will turn off. So the difference here on that on off versus the light function is just how long you're holding it. So if I press and hold for a good a few seconds, it'll actually turn the remote off or on. So I'll press and hold again and it'll turn that on. And then if I just tap really quickly and release, the lights will turn on. So when you see the 1D, if you turn on the light, that'll be the collar that actually turns on first. So if you want to turn on both collars, what you want to do is you can dial down to zero and then you can toggle. So right now, I'll show you here, it's flashing 1D. So if I tap that light, you'll see that the black collar turns on. So now that I'm at zero, I'm going to go ahead and tap the red button and you'll see 2D is now flashing and I'll tap that light button and you'll see both collars are on. 
And this collar also has a half mile range. So I also wanna just go over with you um, a little bit about different contact points. So depending on your dog's length of fur, their thickness of fur, um, we might have a few different options for what you'll be using for contact points. I have a few here to show you guys. Um, these two over here on the far right actually come standard with your e-collar. So this one here, um, as you can see, it's kind of a little bit of a shorter guy. That's gonna be the standard one that we use for most short haired dogs. Then it also comes with um, another slightly longer um, contact point. So you'll see these bits here are plastic and they have little tiny metal points at the top um, that go through the fur to connect um, to your dog's skin. Then um, if you have you know, a dog that's got quite a bit thicker hair or a um, lot long, longer fur, then we wanna switch over to these um, thick contact points thick fur contact points. So these, as you can see, they're all metal here um, and they also have a pretty fine little point there at the top. Um, in addition to that, we also have here what is known as a comfort pad. So um, on, on the standard e-collar, you have typically two points that sit together that touch your dog's skin. This kind of breaks it down a little bit and has four different separate points um, that applies pressure a little differently on the dog's neck. So sometimes we use this um, for dogs that have sensitive skin, um, white fur pitties, things like that. Um, we might decide that that's the best best way for you but we'll make sure that we have um, the best recommendation for you so that's your e-collar um, remember you always have this video to go back to for reference um, you also have of course your your manual and we're always here if you need anything else <laughs>